the Clifford Stone Museum. It looks like this on the outside, but on the inside, it is filled with art. And the art looks like this. Giant, huge paintings. And um, this is another outside picture of it. And more paintings inside. So these paintings inside of our museum are humongous. And there's a really special thing about our museum and the paintings inside of it. Every single thing that is inside this museum was made by one person and his name is Clifford Still. So I want you all to imagine all of the art that you've created in your life so far. And that could be things you've made for school, things you've made at home, things you've made at family, with family, for a camp, all of the art you've created, tons of stuff. And now think about all the art that you're going to make before you turn 75 years old. That's a lot of art. And now imagine that it's all in one place. People can walk through and they can see art that you made when you were 16 years old, and they can see art that you made when they, you were 74 years old. And that is what our museum is like for Clifford Still. So this is Clifford Still. This is a picture of him, our friend Clifford. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about him. So Clifford Still, he grew up on farms and he helped his parents out. He was alive a long time ago. If he was still alive, he'd be 115 now. Um, but so he helped his parents out when he was younger. But as a young boy, he started to get really interested in art. And it was probably around the same age that some of you all are when he decided that art was a thing that he really liked. So his mom taught him to play the piano. He started drawing, he started painting. So as Clifford still got older and he was making art about all the things he saw around him, he got bored of making art just the way that he had been taught to do it. He had painted pictures of people. He made pictures of the outside, what he saw at his window, lots of paintings of trains. But then he decided to do something completely different. So what he did was he invented a totally new way to paint. So Clifford still decided he was going to paint what he felt instead of the things that he saw. So that means instead of painting faces and things and trains, he was painting with lines and shapes and colors. And colors are the big thing that we're gonna talk about today. So we're gonna look at the colors in Clifford Still's art and talk about where we see colors in the world. And we are gonna move our body inspired by some colors and some summary things. And we are gonna talk about the art and then we're gonna leave you with two ideas for some art projects. And something that is the most important thing today, most important beyond anything else, is what you have to say and think. So we want to hear everything that you think and everything you have to say about this art because it is all so important. We don't want to just sit here and tell you about it. We want to hear what you have to say and we want to know your thoughts and feelings. So we're going to ask you to think of yourselves like art detectives today. So imagine that you are an art detective and let's practice a couple things before we get started. First, imagine that you're holding up your imaginary binoculars, your art binoculars to look at the painting. Okay, great. Everybody's great at that. So our theme today is color, like we were saying before. So color can make us feel different things. Maybe some colors make us feel angry. Maybe some colors make us feel happy. Maybe some make us feel calm. Maybe sometimes co different colors feel different ways, depending on what's going on for us that day, or maybe what the weather is. Um, so colors can make us think and feel of a lot of different things. So we are really curious to learn about your favorite colors. 
So I want you to brainstorm just for a second something that you have or an object doesn't have to be something you own, but that is your absolute favorite color. And it could be a real thing that you have with you, or you could just describe this thing to us. Um, so I'll share first, and then we're going to hear from our other educators too. And then we want to hear from you if you are comfortable sharing. Um, so when you share, be ready to share with us your name and then your object. Maybe you're just going to describe something. Maybe you want to show us something. Maybe you just want to type it into the chat. All of that is okay. So I'll start. My name is Emily. And what I am showing you, and you guys, this might be cheating a little bit because it's not just one color. But what I want to show you, and you can't see it too well because of my virtual background, but this is a rainbow scarf that I am making. I'm knitting it. And I love it because it is so many different colors. And it's every color. So, like I said, it might be cheating a little bit because I didn't just pick one color. But that's okay. If you have something that's lots of colors, you can share that too. Um, let's hear from my friend Marilyn about what her object is. Then we'll hear from some of our other educators. Then we want to hear from you. So be thinking about what you want to share the whole time you're listening to our other friends. Um, Marilyn, go ahead. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. It's nice to see everyone. I brought along this shawl. I, I'm not knitting it. I didn't make it. I just bought it. But it's got two my two most favorite colors in it, green and red. So it's got both of those colors that I really enjoy. So I, um, I love this shawl. I'm happy I have it. I'm Melissa, and one of my favorite colors is orange. And I just happen to have a big orange in my refrigerator. <laughs> and I love to eat fruit. It keeps you really healthy and, and keeps you to stay well. So I'm sharing an orange today. Thank you, Melissa. Let's hear it next, um, or let's hear from my friend Trisha next. Well, it sounds like everybody's showing things they're making, and I, my favorite color is green, and I ma I'm making some peacock feathers. I'm actually making a stuffed peacock, but these are the feathers, the first step, so I'm sewing them. So I love this light green color. So colors, that's our big idea today. We are going to see a lot of different colors, and, you know, I have a guess that all of the colors that you said you like are colors that we are gonna see in one of Clifford Still's paintings. Clifford Still used a lot of different colors in his paintings. Um, and like I said earlier, he decided that he didn't wanna just paint pictures of people or trains, but he wanted to make people feel things. So I want everybody to think for a second about that thing that you showed us that was your favorite color and how it makes you feel. So some of us, like my object that I showed you, it makes me feel warm. And on a summer day, I don't know that if I necessarily need to feel warm because it's, it's a scarf. But it also makes me feel special and happy because I made it myself. So think about the stuffed animals that you have, the blankets you have, the crowns that you have, the things that you've made out of bricks. Think about how those things make you feel and how those colors make you feel. And we're going to talk more about how colors make us feel with my friend Marilyn. We're going to be looking at some colors. So who thinks they're good at spotting different colors? Do you all think you're good at that? Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear because you, you're going to help me quite a lot. We're going to be color spies and go on an art adventure. And remember, all of your ideas are right. When we're on an art adventure, there are no wrong ideas, no wrong answers. So if you're ready, put your binoculars on and here we go. Take a look at this. This is a drawing that Clifford Still did with chalk on paper. What kinds of colors are you seeing? What do you find? What kinds of colors? 
I can see yellow. Yellow, <laughs> pink, and black. Yellow, pink, and black. Yes, there's lots of different colors. There's even some yellow that seems to be going through that pink. Do you see that? That kind of thin line that's going through there? What else are we finding? I see that I see like a little blue on the right. Yes. Yes, and that blue, does that blue remind you of anything or does it look familiar like something you may have seen sometime? Well, sometimes usually the blue reminds me of the sky. The sky, okay, yes. Yes, that, that's a very good, uh, good idea. Any others, any other about the shape? Does the shape remind anyone of anything in particular? Pink, maroon, yellow, white, and black, blue, and brown. So you and orange. And orange. You're, you're spotting all the colors. You people are great color spotters. So we're seeing lots and lots of different colors. Do any of these shapes look like something you've seen before? There's an S. An S. It looks like a letter, doesn't it? That's exactly right. That's good spotting. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. That it There's a C. And it's seeing lots of letters. That's great. Our friend Sumaya is seeing, is seeing that the blue reminds them of a marble oh, and a marble. also of leaves, maybe. Oh, also leaves. I, I guess because it's blue, it kind of reminded me of maybe a, a bird in the sky or something that was flying. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of great ideas. This is fantastic. I see a mixture of colors. A mixture of colors. There's lots, aren't there? And mm -hmm. from, Maya said, uh, a yellow bird in the blue sky. Mm -hmm. Lots of beautiful ideas about this drawing. You know, Clifford still didn't title any of his artwork because he wanted us to see whatever we find. And we have found a lot in this piece. The, the black triangles look like an uh, upside down hurricane or tornado. Oh, yeah. And they also look like a tree with no um, stem. Yes, I, I see exactly what you're saying. A lot of make it look like that upside down tornado whirling around <laughs> on a tree. Beautiful ideas are wonderful. If everybody's ready, let's move on to our next stop. So put those binoculars back on. Let's see. Oh, wow. This is a big, big painting. Lots, lots and lots of blue. Can you all spot different colors of blue in this painting? Can you see different colors of painting a uh, blue? I see some nodding, yes. Great, do you see any, um, let's see you all, several of you mentioned that blue was your favorite color, so I'm sure you're enjoying this. There's even some lighter places where it's almost a turquoise color that you mentioned, Sophia, and some darker blue. Can anybody spot some other colors besides blue? Navy blue. Navy blue, so a darker color blue. You're absolutely right. And orange. An orange line. Yes, there's orange in the painting as well. I see shades of blue. Different shades of blue, exactly right. So we, we have some much lighter shades than the navy blue and um, also some that almost look black. They're so dark. I also see a different color, that line, that line over there. Yes, so the, this, this thin line, the orange one, yes, perfect. I see black. Yes, where do you see black? Um, it's right here. So the, the, in the center, almost the center, big black line, big thick black. Yes, yes. good spotting. What, you are fabulous color spies. Remember, Emily told us that uh, Clifford still was trying to let us know how he felt rather than what he was looking at. Do you get a feeling from this? I know a number of you really like the color blue. How does this painting make you feel? If you think this color blue and this painting make you feel calm, put your hands on your heart. If you think this painting makes you feel excited, give me jazz hands. If you think this painting is mysterious, put your hands on your cheeks. Good job. Okay, excellent. 
let's get our binoculars and move. Oh, it looks like an ocean. Yes, that's true. Mm. That's true. That blue looks like an ocean. Oh, here's our next one, our next stop. Let's have our binoculars on. This is a very different painting from the one we just saw. What do you think's happening in this painting? What's going on? It looks like <laughs> there's a volcano in the middle and the two people are standing there. One has a blue t-shirt and the other has a red t-shirt. And did you say the center was a big, did you say hurricane or tornado? Volcano. Because oh, a volcano. The black looks oh. like the mountain and the red looks like the lava. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So the red is giving you the idea about the volcano, like the lava coming out. Um, that orange um, looks like a tower in the middle. It does look like a big tower, and I can see the lava too. These are such fabulous ideas. I, I see that it looks like a volcano is erupting. Yes, it does look like it's erupting with the lava. I know, we, we're, we're, we've got a couple people who are seeing a volcano. How about if you put your binoculars on and really look at those black shapes? Do they look like something special to you or something you've seen before? The black things look like hills. They look like hills. And I see that Sumaya said they look like skyscrapers. They could be big, tall buildings in a city, or they could be hills. Anything else they could be? Um, they could be open gates. Open <laughs> gates. Such, so you, you're seeing them as, as two doors that are kind of opening, these gates that are kind of opening around this orange part. These are beautiful ideas. I just love all of them. You all are just seeing so many things in these paintings. It is so exciting to us. And I know we don't have a huge amount of time, but oh my goodness, believe me, I think we could talk about these ever, for hours. I think we could. Um, well, if, if we don't have any comments about this one, let's move to our last one because that one's a fun one too. Take a good look. There's lots of colors in this one. Lots and lots of colors. What do you think these colors are doing? They certainly look like they're, they seem like they're moving to me. Do you think they're floating or twirling? Uh, I think it looks like leaves are falling in autumn. Leaves are falling in autumn. What do you see that makes you say autumn? Um, the red and yellow. The colors, yeah. So the colors really give us a And lot. also a little black. And a little black. A yeah. brown, brown. Great, wonderful. All right. It wow. looks like the colors are dancing. It looks like they're dancing. Oh, great. Well, we, <laughs> love, we love dancing colors at the Clifford <laughs> Museum. Um, the blue thing, which is on the side, that looks like a stick. It looks like a stick. That's, that's true. This kind of a thin line. Well, if you think these colors looks like they're dancing, give me jazz hands. If you think they look like they're singing and they're making lots of noise, put your fingers in your ears. And if you think this painting is much more quiet, put your finger to your lips. Shh. Our your friend Sumaya is seeing a lion in here because oh. of the yellow and the brown colors. Oh, cool. That's such a, that's such a neat idea. You all came up with fantastic ideas and your fabulous color spies for this artwork. We could go on doing this for a long time, but my friend Melissa has something special planned for us. So we're going to meet up with her and uh, let us uh, move with her. Hi, I'm Melissa again. It's fun to see you today, color spies. It's wiggle time. And the next stop in our color party. Are we all ready to wiggle and move around a little bit? For this activity, you can stay seated in your chair comfortably, or you can choose to stand up. That is your choice, what you would like to do today. So put your hands on your head if you're ready to move your bodies. Great, okay, so let's take another peek at the last painting that Marilyn just showed us. Put your binoculars on one more time, Color Spies and take a closer look at those bright colors and shapes. Who thinks it looks like a dance party? 
do you think we should do some dancing? Let's just do a little dancing here. And if we want to make our own music, we can do that too. A little drumming, a little snapping, a little wiggling. Wonderful. What great dancers we have today. Are we ready to move on in our color party? Can I add one thing, Melissa? Yes. I was just thinking and looking at all these different colors and thinking that some of them might be different dance moves. Like this one down here might be a totally different dance move. To me, this one is kind of like one of these numbers. But this one might be totally different than what we think this green is doing, or even this blue, which to me is kind of like... What fun! We can do a little shimmy. <laughs> we can go up and down. Yeah. I love it. Thank you, Emily. Yes, great ideas. Well, are we ready to keep moving? Give us some jazz hands if we're ready to move on to our next stop. Fantastic, okay. Well, our next stop is water. Look at the cool colors of the blue and the green. So what can we do in the water, in the ocean? Do we have any ideas? Splash fight. Splash fight. Splash. It's so much fun to splash in the water and get all wet, right? We can surf and swim. <gasps> swim, can we be swimmers? Let's be swimmers today. Wonderful. <laughs> and did you say surf as well? Yes. Okay, let's do some surfing. How do we do that? What does that look like? We're on a surfboard, right? And we're trying to get our surfing going. This is fun. Water balloon fight. <gasps> That's super fun, right? To fill the balloons with water and then we can throw them. <laughs> so many colors too when I think of water balloons. Love it. You can find seashells. <gasps> That's one of my favorite things to do when I go to the beach, is find all different seashells and shapes and colors. Thank you for sharing. Run through the waves and find shell foods. Because oh, I found lots of them at the ship books, but I didn't find the Megalodon one. <gasps> Good. Wow. That's impressive to find shark's teeth. That almost sounds scary, <laughs> doesn't it? Yes. What color are the shark's teeth that you find? Those like blackish, brown, gray, like those color combinations. Very fun. Thanks for sharing. Anyone else have ideas of what we do in the water? Oh, okay. So let's make some waves. Can everybody put your hands and your arms together and make some big waves? Wonderful. How about we make now some little waves? Good job. <laughs> What wonderful waves we have today. Are we ready for our next stop? Shout woohoo! 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 Our next stop is a kite. Let's see. We can put our hands together and make a kite. What shape is your kite? Is it a diamond or a square? What color is your kite? My kite is all the different colors of the rainbow. Let's take our hands and imagine that a big wind is lifting our kite back and forth and blowing in the air. Whoosh! Whoosh! Wonderful! Good job flying your kite today! We're going to move on in our color tour. Have you ever been on a merry-go-round? Raise your hand if you've been on a merry-go-round. Wonderful, okay. So we're gonna to pretend to go on a merry-go-round today. First, you have to decide, are you going to go on a horse or a chariot? Think about it. I'm going to climb up on my horse. Okay, climb aboard. Now we're going to start to go up and down. Let's practice going up and down on our merry-go-round. Great job. Oh, the merry ground is going to start now. So we need to spin. Spin around like the merry go round. 
You see how the colors are blending together? The faster the merry-go-round spins. What colors do you see? Green. 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 I see a dizzy too. I was just going to ask you how you feel, Samaya. I'm feeling just as dizzy as you. I think we need to stop our merry-go-round right now. You are such creative carousels. We have one more stop on our movement and color party today. The final stop is the sun. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at the warm colors. Red, yellow, orange. Imagine it's the beginning of the day, a brand new day on the beach. Do you think we can all be suns? Put your hands together. We're going to be suns. Put your hands together and we're gonna raise them up. The sun is slowly rising up into the sky. We are spreading our light everywhere. Wonderful. Now it's the end of the day. So the sun is going to be going down, sinking in the sky. Slowly, slowly, slowly sinking. Great job, all of you. It was a fun day at the beach with you. So great work, Color Spies. Give yourself a round of applause. It was fun getting our wiggles out today. It's time for our next stop on our color tour and make some art with Trisha. I have some great projects right behind me here we're gonna be uh, talking about in a minute. We've taken a good look at different colors and pictures. We've looked at some of Clifford Still's paintings with colors and we also did some colorful actions with our bodies. So the last thing we're going to do is um, do some colorful uh, projects that we will tell you about and then you can do them after we finish our tour. And we're also going to have this video that you can refer back to um, if you want to see it again. Um, and we also have in the caregiver sheet there's some instructions as well. But I wanted to show you um, the first one we're going to tell you about is this collage. And this is our called our warm cool color collage. And we have some um, slides to show you about what you'll need to make this. So some of the materials that you'll need are two sheets of white paper. And I just used some uh, copy paper. Um, you're going to use one piece of colored paper, which you can choose a warm color or a cool color, a glue or glue stick and scissors and paints. And you can use different kinds of paints. I use tempera paints, but you can also use craft paints or watercolor paints and some markers. And um, the first step we're gonna be doing is um, looking at cool colors and warm colors. And on one sheet of the paper, you're going to be painting the cool colors, which would be blue, green, and uh, purple. Purple, sorry. <laughs> and so you're going to paint like strips. So you can do some squiggles, you can do some dots, you can see the different things that I did on there. And then on the other piece of paper, you're going to be doing warm colors, which would be orange, red, and yellow. And make some fun designs with that. So that's our first step. And then we're going to let them dry. And then you're going to take your background, whatever color construction paper you have. If you have a cool color, then you're going to cut up the cool color strips. And you're going to cut them apart, choose three that you like the best, and glue them down. And then after you do that, you're going to take your other piece of paper, which is the warm color, or if you choose, you can be reverse, and cut up different shapes, triangles, circles, swiggles. And you're going to go ahead and put them on your background and glue them down. And then you're going to, the last step, if you want to add some markers, um, you can add some designs, uh, you can go over some shapes, whatever you would like to do. Just make a fun collage with all um, some warm and cool colors. And the second project we have, I have here, is one where you'll get to use any kind of color you'd like. So choose your favorite colors. And um, I have the 
materials here on a slide for you to see how we'll be making these. You're gonna be needing um, paints again and crayons and a piece of white paper. Now this time I used a little bit thicker paper. You can use a watercolor or just like a construction paper and um, for this project. So go ahead, the first step will be to take and draw a circle with your crayon. The dark color is good. You can use like dark blue or black. Draw a circle and some shapes coming out from it. Now we, think about what you'd like to make. You can think about making a flower or it could be a flying saucer or maybe a sun with rainbows. So there's no limit to the different ideas that you could come out with. Use your imagination. So the ne next step will be get your paints out and you're going to color in the different shapes. So you can, um, different designs and different shapes of colors. And then after it dries, you'll go over it again with your crayons and um, you know, add some any details that you like to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed being with us as much as we enjoy being with you. It was a fun day today, learning about colors, looking at Clifford Stills paintings and moving around. It was fun to hear what you had to say about all the paintings.